Deputies are searching for a driver they say crashed into a man, then knocked him out in a case of road rage. It all happened on State Road 417 in Orange County. All new at 4 o'clock, News 6's Jerry Askin spoke to the victim. He joins us live with the latest on the investigation and the clue deputies hope will track down the suspect. Jerry. Ginger, yes, and the victim told me today that this whole thing was just scary, and he believes that he may have been set up all to hit his car and to rob him. They took his cell phone and just drove off. This whole thing happened right behind me on State Road 417, actually last month on December 15th, and deputies right now hope that you can help identify the man they say did this. I, I intend to the, the gun, 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 I, I, I don't know, I, I, I movie. Today, Juan Banos Gomez told me how his drive home from work last month on State Road 417 led to a terrifying attack. Here's how he looked back on December 15th after he says he was badly beaten. In the head, I go into the street. You fell down. Yeah. Right now, Orange County Sheriff's deputies need your help identifying this man who they say hit Juan's car, then attacked him. Juan said he was driving home around 10.45 p.m. when he passed the Curry Fort Road exit. So he stopped here on the shoulder, then he tried to back up to exit. Three minutes. No car, no car, no car. He said he backed up, then stopped here in this grassy area on the exit ramp. And that's when deputies say this man intentionally hit one's car, then got out talking trash. It is for me, Miami. Miami. Juan said he tried to calm the man down, but the man attacked him so badly he fell to the ground and blacked out. He believes the man may have been setting him up just to get him out of his car to rob him. I exit the door. Juan, who is still recovering from it all, hopes someone can help ID this man to deputies and he wants him arrested. And if you can help ID that man or if you know who, where he is or who he is, you're asked to call Crime Line or Orange County Sheriff's deputies right now. Meantime, there were two women in that car, so we're asking deputies if they were involved at all or what role they played. And coming up here in the next hour, all new at 5, um, Juan said he was actually out of work for quite some time. So how this whole thing played on his life, I'm working that story in the next hour. Coming up here, all new on News 6 at 5 o'clock. For now, we're live off the 417. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6. Jerry, thank you.